What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lorna Marie here for you today and we are bringing you a what's inside my diaper bag video. I am so pumped to show you guys this because I love kits. I love building them, making them, organizing them and I consider a diaper bag a giant kit for you and your kids on the go. This is a cave of wonders. There's just all kinds of mysterious things going on in here. And if you've been around for a long time, you already know how we get down over here. But if you are new, I put everything together, label everything so it's more easily accessible for you. If you're looking for a minimalist diaper bag video, this is not the one for you. But if you wanna be the mom on the block that's prepared for every scenario and situation, look no further. <laughs> I love doing these kinds of videos and I'm just hoping to help you guys out there. I'm hoping to add value to you. That is my goal here today in showing you guys my diaper bag. Now, if you're new, like I said, I build kits. I do Amazon favorites. I do a lot of organizational videos. So definitely subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss out on anything. And speaking of traveling, I am currently traveling right now full time with my family of six I have four kids so inside this diaper bag it needs to be ready to go you know what I'm saying because something is always happening basically I will be listing all the products for you guys down below a lot of these items are from Amazon and Dollar Tree which are so easy and easy and convenient to get to I will also be listing my Etsy store my Amazon storefront which has all kinds of favorites as well as my website if you feel like depositing some positive energies give or go a thumbs up I would so appreciate it come down and say hi in the comments I love getting to know you guys even when you leave me just one little emoji it means the world to me and speaking of getting to know each other come say hi on Instagram come follow me over there I have been having so much fun with you guys sending me your recreations of your kits I will totally repost them so come show me what you guys have done it's even this one I literally start getting recreations the next day it is my absolute favorite so anyways if you guys want to see what's inside my new updated diaper bag video then just keep watching all right you guys so here is my diaper bag I love it so much I think it's so beautiful and sleek I'm gonna go through the bag first but some of you are probably wondering, girl, why didn't you get pink? Because that's your color. That's your vibe. But I feel like if you are going to make anyone else carry your bag, you have to be considerate <laughs> of being gender neutral. So my son and my husband. So I can't be just like, you better just carry my pink bag, you know, the pink diaper bag. So I opted for a neutral color. And I really, really like this color, the caramely color. I feel like it just goes with everything. And, um, yeah, I just think it just looks like a man could totally wear this as well. So it is faux leather. It is not real leather. It has gold detail, uh, zipper detail, which I also like. I, everything I usually have is gold, like the jewelry and stuff. I like gold. All right. So we're going to go through all of the pockets. I'm going to start from the front, go to the back. I just want to show you a couple of the features. It has these pockets on the side here. I'll go through what's in them. It has that material that keeps things cold. And there's another pocket on the side that does that. Another interesting and very different feature is there is no pocket here. So when you open this, it actually takes you directly to the center of the bag. And I'm going to go through this, but I stuck a pouch here, which I really, really like. So we'll go through that in a second. Okay. The bag comes with three accessories. It comes with this one here, and then it comes with a flat pouch, which I will put a picture right here. And then it comes with a changing pad, which I'll show you guys that that's actually in here. So I know I'm going to get a lot of questions. Like, as you can see, I labeled everything inside. I just feel like it helps you guys. I know some people are like, oh my God, so unnecessary. <laughs> but I feel like if you are sharing this with everybody, you guys, I'm a family of six. I have four kids and I have big kids that help me do a lot of this stuff. I like to label things. So that way they can just look at it and know where things are at. If I'm like, hey, go grab the bathroom bag, go grab the snack bag, go grab the this bag, whatever I'm looking for, they can go straight to it, which makes it so nice. Okay, disclaimer, because I've gotten some funky messages in the past saying like, I would never use all of that stuff. Like, girl, it's all good. I'm just giving you ideas. I have a big family, so you may have one kid. I have four. So, and this is all for my four kids inside this bag. Anyways, disclaimer over, <laughs> let's get into the front. So on the top here, I have labeled this. Oh, I will leave my label maker here for you guys. I use a brother label maker, love it, obsessed with it. Definitely get it. All right, so I'll link it down below for you guys as well. This is a snack bag, it says snacks. I did the black label with the white. I just thought it would look sleek with this bag. And then these pouches are my absolute favorite pouches, you guys. I 
use them for everything. Honestly, I just ran out after building this kit. You guys know I love building kits, and so I always have these in stock. I'm out. Um, I just have a couple of snacks in here, just some bars and stuff, Lara bars, Kind bars. I'll do protein bars, whatever the kids are feeling, but I always have just a little bit of something in here. Now, I'm also going to be doing a restaurant bag coming up very soon and an entertainment bag. I have my restaurant bag in here. Okay, I'm getting ready to do a restaurant slash entertainment bag that's a big bag separate from this, and I know that seems weird, but we're full-time RVers, and we have a huge community of people that we are around, and so I want to be able to bring stuff if we're, like, sitting at a restaurant for my kids to be really entertained. There's still entertainment stuff in here, but not as much as I will be bringing in that bag. So if you guys are interested in that bag, stay tuned. Okay, so in this front pouch, it says necessities, and there's no pocket here, which is very strange, but I honestly now, I really like that because I can just make my own pocket, and I can stick this right here and grab it very easily. So this is necessities. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to pull all of this out and show you guys every single item. That is what I do here on my channel. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, I have my own day bag. Where's my day bag? Okay, my day bag is, I have a day bag video. I'll pop it up on the screen here. I carry my own bag, okay? So if you're feeling like I may be missing something because I carry everything, that bag has everything in it. I still carry it. I transfer all of my purse stuff into my day bag and I carry my day bag. Just because we're always on the go, we're always visiting national parks, we're always doing all kinds of stuff, I need both, personally. If that's too much stuff for you guys, hey, do you, but this is how we like to do it. So if you see like repeat stuff in here, it's because I like redundancy. I don't want to not have aspirin if somebody needs it. I don't want to not have a Tide stick. So you will see multiple things that are repeated. Because I do have a diapering bag system. If you guys want to see that as well, that is on my channel. I have a diapering bag system because I do bring multiple bags that I keep in the car in addition to this. I can always do an updated video if you guys are interested. But let's pull this bad boy out and let me show you everything that I have in here. Okay, so first up I have a lint roller. Got this from the dollar store. Then I have this is a sewing kit. You never know on the go. I've made these a million times. You guys always see it. And people always ask me, like, do you have multiple ones made? Yes, absolutely. I have multiple. I'm pretty sure I have three now. I have one in my day bag, one in an emergency kit, and then I have one over here. I think I have two in emergency kits, honestly. So I think I have four made. Okay, then I have some cotton swabs. You never know when you might need some of those. Then I just have some NyQuil and some DayQuil, if I can get it out. NyQuil and DayQuil. I got this little mirror from Dollar Tree. And I like to just have this kind of stuff, so if my daughter wants to use it, I have my own. But, I mean, if I need to use it, I definitely will. I got this brush from the dollar store as well. I thought, how cute is that, right? Then we have Aura Gel. I feel like if you get a toothache or something funny happens, Aura Gel is just so clutch. Then I have a Tide to go stick. I cannot live without this thing. I feel like I've been the hero many, many times. So definitely got to have that. And then last but not least, I just keep a toothbrush, an extra toothbrush in here, toothpaste and um, floss. And whoever uses the toothbrush, obviously that's the person that gets to keep it. I just like to have it on the go just in case. So that was in that pouch, the necessities pouch. All right, so I like to name everything, you guys, because that way it's a necessities pouch. You can name yours whatever you want, but that way I'm like, hey, go get the necessities pouch. They know exactly what I'm talking about, where it's located, and it's good to go. All right, next up, we're going to, oh, let's start with the sides here. Okay, so on the first side here, I've also labeled inside of the pocket, okay? So it says sanitizing. I was thinking of sanitizing station area pouch, whatever. <laughs> um, I don't even think this is a word, but it's okay because I'm going to tell my kids, go look in the sanitizing pocket. So in the sanitizing pocket, I obviously have things to sanitize. I have hand sanitizer and then I have this travel pack of antibacterial wipes, which I can wipe things down with. And I'm probably going to get a Clorox wipes to a, like a miniature one to stick in here and a Clorox spray. Um, if I feel like somewhere is extra dirty, I don't normally have to do that, but I do. I would like the option if I needed to. Then on this side here, I have this extra pouch here. So let's get into this. Oh, so I know this is a weird detail to show you guys, but see this ring here. 
Um, it is amazing. I have, it comes in like a pack of 12 or something like that, but it hooks onto the bag. It is beautiful. So you can use this on your designer bags or whatever. And I think it's just such a pretty keychain to have. And then I can hook things and attach things together and they are just beautiful. So I've shown these before, but I will definitely link those for you guys down below. All right. So this is bathroom. I did this one in clear just because it was going to be on the outside of the bag. So I switched it up for clear on this one. The other, if I did clear on the other things, you wouldn't be able to see them very well. I tried. <laughs> All right. So inside here, this is everything. If I, if somebody has to go to the bathroom, like, oh, take the bathroom bag with you. And this is just my little care package. We have feminine products here. Then we have seat covers here. Then I have extra toilet paper because you just never know if they're out of toilet paper. And that is the worst when you go into a bathroom. And then I also have hand sanitizer just in case they don't have soap or something weird happens. We have it all in here. So this is just so nice to have you guys just a designated bathroom bag. So whoever needs to go can take this with them. And then also, um, I, all my kids are out of diapers, except I have a potty training three-year-old. She's, she's basically potty trained, but she needs a pull up at night, but I do keep some pull ups in here. So anyways, I don't need any changing anything. This is all we need, which is nice. Now we're all on the same page. Next up, we have the first aid pocket. So in here I have a straw cause I feel like sometimes they may not have straws and my kids really, really want a straw. So I brought one of these. I got these from the dollar store. You guys, they are awesome. I might be putting, okay. So in this first aid thing, I have this little care pack. This is also from the dollar store and it's really cool because it just comes with a very basic thing you need. If you guys haven't seen my video on my to go first aid kit, I will show you guys that. Okay, so I keep this in the pocket here, but I also have this, you guys, and this goes in the stroller with me. You guys probably think I'm crazy, but we do a lot of adventure type of activities. I just showed this video, so if you guys haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It is such a good video. It's a couple videos back, but I do keep this in my car, and then I will stick it into my stroller. I have one of those giant wagon strollers. If you guys are interested in seeing a video like that, I can show you guys all the stuff I bring with me, how I pack everything up. I keep lollipops. I just like having these in emergency situations. My husband takes a lot of business calls. And then we have garbage bags. That is so self-explanatory. <laughs> also in my bag, guys, I have towels. I have extra stuff in my day bag. So I didn't put any towels in here because I hold them in mine. This was already filled to the brim. So I kind of had to pick and choose what I wanted to have. Okay, so I also wanted to show you guys a couple honorable mentions. This is my day bag here, but I stick a wet bag in my day bag. So if you feel like that's missing out of here, it's because I bring this hiking and everywhere with my towels. Like I was telling you earlier, I put towels, thin towels in here as well. Those are all on my other videos. You have to go check those out. Another thing that I wanted to show you guys that I keep on the side, I stick at the bottom of my stroller that's not in this bag. I just like kind of lives in my stroller are these stroller blankets. I will put a picture of what they look like open right here, but I have two, one for each. Um, I have two older kids, two younger kids, and these are for the younger kids. So the big kids will just put on a sweater, but I like having these just in case they want a nap or something in the stroller. So you guys never, like I said, never feel like you have to bring everything that I bring. This is just what makes me feel safe and ready to go. Also, another thing I didn't show you guys is this is a backpack, okay? There's a zipper right here on the side. And then there's also a pouch right here. And it has these two straps that you can hang it from the stroller, which that's how I use it most of the time. So I'm just keeping a shoulder strap on here because that's how my husband likes to carry it. And my son likes to carry it with, with the backpack straps. So you guys can kind of pick and choose how you want to carry it. I like to have my baby wipes accessible. So those go first thing on the top. I have baby wipes in my bag. There's baby wipes everywhere in the car. So we always have those on us. Okay. These actually get wedged on the side. I just kind of stuck these in here, but I will put these like down in here on the side. I like to have these because we're always out at night and we've been at the beach and stuff lately. So I like to have these from the dollar store, some little glow bracelets. It's fun for kids. Next up, I have these two. Oh, let me give you an aerial shot. Okay. Here is an aerial shot of everything. Now this says extra clothes. This says necessities. I have one in this corner. I'll pull everything out guys that says coloring. And then we have one that says entertainment. So everything is labeled on the top. 
So like I could have labeled this in the front, but then you wouldn't see it. So everything is like little file folders and you can see it all. That's how I like to do it. It is jam packed as you can see. Now a trick here is when you pull the bags out, you wanna stick your hand in and then pull out because they do tend to get stuck together. So if that irritates you, do not get clear bags. You need to get cloth because those will slide out so nicely. But I balance it out with, I like to see at a glance what's inside. So you gotta make that choice for you, girl. <laughs> All right, next up I have this bib. This is old, it like looks really crusty because it actually is. It's a bib that catches all the food. So depending on what my three-year-old eats, I put this on her. I don't have a bib anymore for my five-year-old. And then if I really need him to have one, I'll have him just wear this one and then I put this one on her. But I like having two options depending on what she's eating, something sticky, it's the long sleeve bib. You guys have seen this before. And then if she's eating something that's messy and gets everywhere, I put this one on her. And those just get wedged in the back here. All right, so let's start off with this here. So this is what I decided to do. This is coloring on the top here. This is what I decided to do with this. Everybody has different variations of what they do with these containers from the Dollar Tree. And this is mine. So what I like to do is I have four kids. So... One of these goes with the girls and one of these goes with the boys. And so now, let's take this off. They have their own little crayons. And the kids inside, like I got colored pencils and crayons. So my older son can use the colored pencils. My baby son can use the crayons. And then I have big crayons and little crayons in here. So that way my daughter has her own and they don't fight. So love that I did this and I think it's gonna come in so clutch. How cool is that though? Everything is ready to go on the side. Now look guys. This isn't important to you. If you obviously are on lockdown right now at the place you're at and you don't go to restaurants or you know, you're not at the park or places where you can pull out stuff like this, then just this, replace it with something you will use. You know what I mean? On this pouch, like see that came out really easy. This is my utensils pouch. Okay, so this is my utensils pouch. I really, really like having this on me because I cannot tell you how many times I've used stuff out of here and I had to keep replacing it. This is not necessary. This is just a can cover. If you drink White Claws or whatever, you know, you know what this is for. Keep that drink safe. <laughs> okay, so then I have extra little straws here, bendable straws. And then I have um, these packs that I get from like restaurants and stuff like that. I just keep them in here. They have like the salt and pepper and then a spoon and a fork. It's nice just to have those. Then I have spoons, forks, Ziploc bags. And then I have little mini spoons and forks. Let me see. I got these from the dollar store. And these are so great when they're eating like little snacks and things, little pieces of fruit. And yeah, I just love having these in there. So if this isn't important to you, again, you can totally skip this part. I just think kids think stuff like this is so fun and so cool. And when you bring this out, all the kids are like, whoa, those are awesome. <laughs> this is my extra clothing this one is my extra clothing bag love that it has a handle right here so you can pull it out of the bag easy and like i said i labeled the top this has a zipper compartment on the front i'm going to open it and show you guys and then you can see how i folded i did like a kanmari folding system inside so i can see everything this has one outfit for every single kid i just have very thin things like shorts and a t-shirt for every single kid and a pair of underwear and then my daughter has a pull-up in here and then everybody even my husband and i all have a pair of socks what socks are the worst so I'll show you what that looks like so this bag i will be linking it is from amazon linking that down below so see how there's a pouch up top this is how i folded everybody's clothes it fits in so nicely like you don't have to keep this in your diaper bag guys i would say if I wasn't doing what I do all the time, I would leave it in my car. And I actually do have an extra set of sweaters and clothing inside of my car. I have a whole separate bag for that. But I, the kids are always at the beach. We're always doing things. This is just works out for me. And it's, I feel like important for me to have in my family. So you just have to customize it for you guys. And then, so here is the diaper. And then let me show you guys. It's like a very good size up here. And then I just have everybody's socks. And I got these all at the dollar store, which is really, really nice. Super affordable. And you don't have to break the bank to have all of your extra clothes. Honestly, you guys, like this shirt, I just showed it in my last Dollar Tree haul. Dollar Tree. 
such a great thing to have as an extra clothing item and then now it is good to go all right and that is it in there all right last back left is the entertainment bag now i also got this from amazon it goes like this but there is a little strap here which you can pull it out easy that's why i decided to label it here and keep the strap accessible all right so when you open it up this bag in particular actually has another flap i'm not using it in here it would be too full if i did that so i don't have it but it does have this extra little flap here that i haven't put anything in so when you open it up now this may seem like that is already enough entertainment for your kids but we are always in groups of people you guys and i have a huge big old bag that i can just share with everybody so i'm going to go through everything in here with you guys and show you what's in here all right, so these are from the dollar store. They're little scratching papers, and it turn, they're all black, and then when you scratch them, it has these colorful designs, which is so fun. I need to, honestly, there's so many papers in here, but I need to get a couple extra scratching sticks. I need to remember to do that. Okay, in here, this is actually a container that had a cooling towel from the Dollar Tree, and then I stuck some of these Valentine's little stampers in there, so I thought that would be fun for them to have on the go. Just stick those in here. It's so nice to be able to like repurpose containers. You guys know I'm obsessed with containers. Then back here, I have this, I found it. This is good for like learning for your toddlers. And this is just, I like to have learning activities in here. So my, entertain, whoop, my entertainment bag is not gonna have as much learning stuff. Most of the learning stuff will be in here. In the entertainment bag, it's straight entertainment. And they all have their own little pouch that they take to a restaurant and have stuff, um, their own personal stuff, which I really like them to have. Okay, then I like having options, if you guys haven't noticed. I got these little dot things from, I got these from the Target dollar spot, and I just stick these in there. They're little frozen mosaic things. I don't know if my toddler is gonna be able to do these, but I just brought them just in case. Then we have wiki sticks. This Ziploc bag is from Daiso, so they're hard to find. But wiki sticks are these things that the kids can actually like pull them apart, make shapes and all of that, which I think is so much fun. Okay, you guys, this is not going to be my most like cinematic video. I'm in the keys right now, so things are kind of crazy. I'm trying to just make sure I can get videos to you guys that I've been promising you. So we have alphabet and then we have matching um, colors and shapes. So I have kindergartner and a preschooler so I got those then I got these from the Dollar Tree which are really cool you can hit, put your device on here and then it won't fall I feel like that's an ongoing thing when we're at places I actually have two of these I need to stick the other one in here because I like having two devices my toddlers fight unfortunately they actually have bigger sets I showed you guys at the from the dollar store that have um, more Play-Doh, but I just like keeping these little miniature ones in here. Play-Doh just distracts kids when you're at restaurants. It's so nice. So I keep little four miniature ones. I got these off of Amazon. And then last thing in here I got for the big kids. This is a travel. So anyways, in here is a travel trouble for the kids, for the big kids. I thought this would just be fun to stick. It's flat and sleek and that's why I like it. And then it houses all the pieces. So it was a perfect one to pick for this in the back here i opted to not put anything back here i did have the snacks in this pouch instead but it was way too weird to put it on your back so i opted to only put extra masks in here so i have i think i got these at the gas station honestly guys i got if i can find some similar on amazon i will try to find them for you but i got some very gender neutral ones and then i can always tie them tighter for the kids because sometimes we forget our mask or whatever and i just like having these are all brand new so i just stick those back here and that's all that i carry in this back pouch and i don't think i even carry anything in here yeah and then there's nothing in here guys but you could totally put your phone or whatever i carry my phone on a strap so i don't really need to personally do that but you totally could back here so I've been getting a lot of questions on how you guys can show me support. You are appreciative of all the things that I'm showing you. And thank you so much because this is now my full-time job and I'm trying to make a living off of it in support. Help support my family while we're on the road. So if you guys feel like I add value to you in any way, these are the things that you can do to help support my channel. Number one is sharing my videos to your friends and family. That is huge. So the more my videos get out there, the more traction I get on my channel. And also another thing is watching my video all the way through 
not just till the end, but what that means is no fast forwarding or skipping and just letting it play. Even if you're washing the dishes and you let my video play, it actually benefits me so, so much. Thank you guys again. I appreciate you. I can't be doing this without you guys. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my Zapper Bag video. I had so much fun doing it for you. Everything will be listed for you guys in the down bar below, my website, all of that good stuff. If you haven't done so already, what are you waiting for, girl? It's free. Subscribe, hit that little bell so you are notified every single time I post a video. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you guys. I know you can be anywhere else, but you are here with me. If you've made it all the way through without fast forwarding or skipping, anything leave me a sun emoji thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time i'm always your girl lorna marie bye wish i could say i was finally over you but that's not the truth mm -hmm. everyone always keep falling in